Hello everyone and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to show you how to use your PC as a Wii U gamepad with Vanilla, a work in progress Wii implementation of the Wii U gamepad that allows for any capable device to function as a replacement for a gamepad. So let's go ahead and get right to it. First of all, for this guide you'll need a PC or a laptop running Linux. Any modern Linux distribution should work fine with this. That PC will also need to have a Wi-Fi card capable of connecting to 5GHz networks. Preferably one that's officially supported on the vanilla GitHub wiki page. If you don't have Linux set up, you'll be able to get away with running Linux and vanilla with a live USB, which there are plenty of videos on how to set that up, so I'm not going to go through with that in this video. You may also be able to use a virtual machine, however if you're going that route you'll need a USB Wi-Fi adapter capable of connecting to 5GHz networks, and preferably one with a chipset that's supported on the vanilla GitHub wiki as well. You'll obviously need a Wii U console, any console from any region will work and it doesn't have to be a modded console either. Got all that? Good. So first of all, on your Linux PC, you want to download Vanilla from the link in the description for your computer's architecture. Vanilla supports ARM and x86 based computers. You may see Windows and Android versions there as well, but those are different and we'll get to those in a bit. Once downloaded, extract the contents from the tar.gz file to a folder on your system. Make sure you extract everything as Vanilla needs everything to work. Once you've done that, if you're connected to a Wi-Fi network on the computer, you want to disconnect from it now since Vanilla is going to take full control over your computer's Wi-Fi card. Once that's ready, pull up a terminal, usually by right-clicking on the window, and type in the command dot slash vanilla dash pi dash w. Vanilla, vanilla should then open. In the window that pops up, go to settings, then go to connection, and make sure the local option is selected. You'll then be asked to choose your Wi-Fi card. If you have multiple options here, um, if you have multiple Wi-Fi cards installed, you'll see more than just one option here. Once you've done that, you want to back out of the settings screen, and now your computer is ready. On your Wii U, press the sync button on the front of the console. When the message appears, press the button again. You'll then be presented with four symbols on the screen. Back on vanilla, press the sync option. You may be asked for your root password, and then enter your four symbols on the screen. With any luck, you should then connect, and you're all set to go. If you have issues with the sound or picture, it could be that your Wi-Fi card is not properly supported by Vanilla yet, or your computer isn't close to your console. If you have a bit of a delay with the audio or video, that's normal. But once you're here now, you're free to just use your computer as a Wii U gamepad. The mouse here acts as the touchscreen, and various keys on your keyboard have been assigned to buttons on the gamepad. On that note, I feel it's important to say it's currently not possible to remap your buttons at the moment in vanilla. However, it might be possible in a future update. A current button diagram for vanilla can be found in the video's description. Now, you saw earlier that there was Windows and Android versions on the repo, and you also saw there was a vanilla-pipe app in that folder. This pipe app is for turning your Linux machine into a server that the Windows and Android versions of Vanilla will be able to connect to, so let's get to that. On the Linux machine, make sure Vanilla is not running, make sure it's completely closed. You also want to make sure that your computer has another way of connecting to your local network. So because Wi-Fi is not an option, I'm using Ethernet in this case. You also want to find the IP address of your machine. This method will vary depending on the distro you're using. So if you're in doubt, um, you can have a look online and find how to get the IP address on your distro. Once you've got everything ready, fire up a terminal and run the following command. sudo dot slash vanilla dash pipe dash UDP and followed by the Wi-Fi card you used for vanilla, for vanilla earlier. Type in your root password and then press enter. You should see a ready prompt on the command line. Now, on the device you're wanting to connect with, I'm using Windows in this case. Repeat the download and extraction process that we did earlier, it's the exact same. 
If you're on Windows, run the same command we ran earlier in command prompt, vanilla-pi-w. Once you're in vanilla, go to settings, connection, server, and type in the IP address of the computer running the server. Once you've done that, you want to make sure you that, that the region in vanilla is set properly. This is dependent on your console's firmware. If this is set incorrectly, it will not it'll throw up an error stating that the gamepad's from a different region. Once that's done, the syncing process is essentially the exact same, however, the Windows version does not support touch input at the moment. The process is also the same on the Android version, but I was not able to get that to work for this video. Now a few things to keep in mind while using this, past what was mentioned earlier. If you're running this on Windows or Android, it is dependent on a super stable connection between your computer and the server. I was only able to get this working by having my server computer connected directly to this one through an ethernet cable. Secondly, if you connect another computer or a Wii U gamepad in the future, you'll need to go through the pairing process in vanilla again. And last of all, this is still a work in progress application, and from my testing, gyro controls into the microphone are currently not supported. But other than that, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.